guys are going to find your esophagus and you're going to trail it all the way down and you're going to be asking yourself that same question we were asking yesterday. Where is it going? Where is it going? Esophagus, where are you? What is your journey? And you're going to, you're going to go from there. So you might see some connective tissue and the first thing I notice is it's going to go straight through the diaphragm. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to be aware of where is my esophagus and I'm going to cut through my diaphragm lower and lower and lower until I can kind of see where my esophagus kind of can poke through. So do you see that in there? See that? So I'm going to snip lower and I'm going to snip lower until I've gotten to the esophagus. Do you see that? Okay. Now I can put my scissors aside and there's some more connective tissue in there and I can kind of just wiggle that with my fingers and now I can see okay. Again, here's all my diaphragm. See all of it? That's now off to the side and now I can see all my esophagus is going to directly connect to my stomach. And there's again, I got more connective tissue in there and stuff too. Now the other problem that we have to remedy real quick is my liver is kind of in the way. So if you haven't already removed your, what is this again? Your greater omentum. Your greater omentum. You can remove that. Since it's fat, it's very delicate and you can just remove the whole blanket off in one piece. Um, and now I have to remove my liver. You may, again, want to sort of cut through or tear through the back of your diaphragm so it's out of the way. And again, I'm asking myself, where's my esophagus? Because I don't want to cut through that. And I kind of want to be able to see my liver a little bit better. Okay, does everybody see the liver pretty well? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to hold the liver. I'm going to kind of cradle it in my hands like this. That way, I can kind of figure out, okay, my esophagus is here. I'm kind of trapping it under these fingers. And I'm going to hold it like this. And I'm going to kind of tilt it up. When I tilt it up, that allows me to kind of see, okay, I've got some intestine right here and I've got all this connective tissue right here, right? But I know none of this connective tissue and none of these blood vessels in there are esophagus because I've got my esophagus trapped underneath my finger. So now, grab my scissors here. Now that I have this kind of cradled, again, I'm trapping my esophagus under my other finger. I can cut through these little blood vessels and some of this mesentery. I've got maybe some more diaphragm over here. I can see that connective tissue, you see all that? Mm -hmm. Again, I see my esophagus here, so I know I'm not cutting through it, and now I've removed my whole liver, okay? Now, if you look under the second lobe, so if this is like the first major lobe, you might have another little one down here, the second major lobe, when you peel that back, there's this little pouch right here. You see that little pouch right there? Mm -hmm. Now, on yours, mine's not a very good one, but on yours, poke the liver, and then again, underneath the second one, poke that little pouch. This is your gallbladder. It should feel different. So that's the thing that holds the bile and the bile is what helps your body break down fats. If I find a really good one in class, I'll call you over and I'll have you kind of poke it real gently. Bladder just kind of means like a pouch. So that is just holding all your bile. Okay, so now that I've removed that, now I can get into the cool part. Now I can start to see now really well that my esophagus is directly connecting to what? Stomach. The stomach. Now I can also see if I kind of look behind here, do you see how it's still connected? So I've got some muscle, I've got some tissue, so I'm going to gently kind of move that over and just kind of separate that a little bit. So now I can see, okay, now I've got esophagus that leads into stomach. I've still got some greater momentum on there that I can remove. Okay, and now here's a really cool part. So Juliana, you're going to have to back up in just a second. So one, what is all this stuff? Okay, what's the point of the mesentery? Hold it all together and remember this is also the physical connection between my digestive system and my circulatory system. We'll get to that more. So now I can see part of my digestive. Now I want to see the rest of it. So I need someone to help. I will. I will. Okay, Eric, grab a little piece. And Audrey, grab a little piece. So just hold a little bit in your hand. Hold it in your hand. All right now you're going to have to back up, Juliana. Now very gently on three, we are going to pull. One, two, three. Pull, pull, pull. Oh my God. Pull. No, no. Whoa. 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 Keep going. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, hold it up. Oh my hold it up. Go ahead. Hold it up, Eric. Hold it up, Audrey. Okay, so now I'm going to clean it up a little bit. So if you look on the bottom, this is all the mesentery right down here. Do you see all this mess? Messy mesentery, right? <laughs> So I'm going to snip through that so that I can see a little bit better. 
I've got some diaphragm here too. And now I can see pretty much my whole digestive system. So this is my what? Esophagus. My esophagus turns into my stomach. Stomach, stomach turns into? Small intestine, small intestine, small intestine, small intestine, small intestine. And you can kind of see usually in a lot of them, they suddenly get a little bit wider and fatter. The last couple inches is your large intestine. So I can remove that fatty mesentery. And this is the goal, is to get a whole awesome loop just like this. When you have this, then make sure you're quizzing each other. All right, where does the food go? First it goes here, then it goes here, then it goes here, then it goes here. Quiz each other so that when you see that on the quiz again, you're ready to go. Questions? All right, grab your minks, get to it.